Hello everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. My name is Colleen and today is episode 42 of the Chef Challenge that I'm still doing. If you're new here, the Chef Challenge is me just making bells by only selling food-related items, so think produce, fruit, cooked dishes, fish, those sorts of things. So if you enjoy that sort of content, be sure to subscribe, and there's lots of other silly things in this, like really bad jokes and really bad jokes, so you, you can't get that anywhere else. Starting off this day at nighttime and just throwing out some things in my pockets because, like I mentioned, I, I'm not selling things that aren't food related, which is a bit heartbreaking sometimes because I could be making some big bucks, but you know, it's all in the name of the game. Truthfully, when I was filming this, I was quite tired from the weekend because it was my birthday. Thank you to everyone who sent me very sweet messages. You're all just so wonderful, but I was a little bit tired, so I kind of just let my brain take the reins when I was filming this. So it's very ADHD fueled, I just did what I felt like doing, and it turned out to be a sort of productive day, which is great because, you know, it's, it's going into a YouTube video. But I updated my outfit, I had been wearing it for, I think, two episodes, which is just awful of me. And then I had to update it even a little bit more after leaving Abel's because it just wasn't quite perfect yet. But it wouldn't be an Animal Crossing New Horizons video without a villager interrupting you when you're trying to be productive. So Wolfgang <laughs> apparently wanted to pay me a visit. And just because of, you know, the mood that I was in, I decided, you know what? I should entertain him for a little bit, I'll even play his little game, it'll be fine. But he does sure look like he's going to take his time, doesn't he? Yeah, just, just right in the middle of the floor. There's chairs everywhere, my friend. I got an idea, you want to play a game, Snarl? Alright, we're gonna play as a game of high card, low card. Gonna test something that I couldn't read in time. <laughs> but a robot hero T is on the line, and he can shuffle like that? I don't know. That there is a two. It sure is. You are correct. Well, I'm going to say that it's probably higher, like given the odds and, and all of those things. <laughs> Huh. Hmm. So you, you, okay. Well, you've got a real nice place, but I figure, yeah, you should leave. You should. I got to, this was a gas? Look how happy he is. He didn't want to get rid of his robot hero teeth. That's what it was. In happier news, look how cute this is. Celia just soaking in Phoebe's talents. For this, and this alone, I will let those two stay on the island, and I will move Samson off for Chai today. <laughs> but first, panic. Every time it fails, I'm going to speed up the footage, and let me tell you, this gets so fast. What do you mean? It's not- why? I've used it two times in a row. B <sighs> but, okay. <sighs> for what reason? really. I will add in though that this has- this issue has never happened to me before, so I really did think that I somehow ruined the amiibo card and I wasn't going to be able to move Chai back onto my island, so I really was quite panicked for a minute there. But now here- here's Cookie. Just- just sitting under a tree. She was playing some single player hide and seek and she won. You know what, Cookie? I am actually so proud of you. I don't think I've ever been so proud of any of my villagers. It is actually crazy. The vibe is off. I don't even know if it's Gulliver or Gulliver yet. But, I, I mean, either way, I'm probably going to end up doing it. <laughs> I'm just having a slow day, you know? I saw, actually, I think it was Fleur's video recently where she played... Animal Crossing the way that she did back in 2020, and I kind of want to borrow that idea one day. 
because it just seems like a lot of fun. I used to have such a little schedule for myself, so I would love to do that. But as I was talking, you can see that Chai is asking for a log bed, which takes so much hardwood. Like, of course, of course she does. But we will go make her a log bed, we'll get her to move in, and all will be well with the world. So I am back with Chai, I'm giving her the log bed that I slaved over. I am so lucky, I can't believe someone made me something so shamazing. <laughs> I'll go ask resident services if there's somewhere to live flat flap. It's the worst news, the legit worst. You're so dramatic. <laughs> oh my gosh. Calm down. This is where the whole thing comes in, you know, we gotta ask Samson to move, and then he conveniently was already going to, so everything will be completely fine. Don't worry, Chai. Yeah, I know. I literally just said that. This island ain't big enough for the two of us? Or do I go, I'm famous, do what I say? Probably not that one. Because I feel like people will not listen. And like I said, based on earlier activities and seeing how cute it was, Samson, you're out. I actually did have to take a moment and just <laughs> register with myself, like, Samson isn't a food-related name, right? Like, that's where I was at when I was filming this, just to give you the full experience. But as you can see, it is just great news all around. He understands that we need a real musician on this island, and he just cannot fulfill that role right now. So he's happy to let Chai do that, and that's just incredible. That sort of support, I just, I live for it. As you can see, I have moved on here and it is Gullivar that we're dealing with today, which hopefully will be a little bit easier for recovering the communicator. So I, I am grateful for that. So I'm going to hop right into the ocean and just get this over with. First up, we've got a whelk. So not that one. <laughs> and second up, very lucky. So lucky. Like, I, I cannot believe. Because I think the last time it took, like, I think I swam around the whole island, actually. So maybe he felt a little bit bad about it this time and he just landed on the beach a little bit closer. Then I finally ran into Lolly. Sometimes nighttime can feel lonely, so I'm glad I ran into- oh my gosh, I'm gonna break my heart, little one. How, how dare you? Look at Wolfgang and Celia and Phoebe, though. That's cute. And yeah, they, they were taking frying pans again? And no, I, I don't take advantage of it today because I've, I've made enough frying pans to last me a lifetime. The island breeze is quite lovely today, don't you think? It feels as if it might carry my cares away with it. Well, aren't you so poetic as always, Panchetti? But here, here is T-Bone's home. And I decided on a whim, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna move it because obviously I can't move Chai to that specific place, but with how I want the layout of the land <laughs> to work, I kind of need her there for her little tea shop area. So I'm going to move T-Bone's plot, and then eventually, you know, once Chai is moved in and everything, I will move her back to her, her rightful place. Just a quick peek at the map so you can see what things are looking like right now. It's actually a lot more full than I thought it was. I've, I've done a lot more than I thought. But just lining it up beside this cliff, there's kind of a, a perfect portion that's as long as the house, so it works out pretty nicely. And I don't really know what I'm going to build around it yet, but I'm sure it'll be cute. Next, my brain took me over to the hybrid garden, mainly because I was just already on this cliff. But I decided to water some of the flowers, but not all of them. So, 
Can't really explain why, uh, but yeah, that's just what happened. And then I realized I hadn't found my DIY yet, so I ran along the beach for a while, and yeah, I've had that literally forever. Like, what is going on? What is going on? But since I was over here, I realized I should water these flowers. And if you're wondering why I have one yellow mum separated, it's because technically it's like a hybrid one. I don't know if I'm supposed to separate it because I want to get some green mums. Who knows? Then shock of a lifetime. T-Bone and Lolly. And he's pushing her. If you watch the Amanda Files, you know that pushing means things. It means love. <laughs> But if you don't watch the Amanda Files, her videos are absolutely hilarious and I highly recommend them. Look at her looking at him. He just moved here, Lolly. Get a grip of yourself. Oh, in front of me? I... wow. Wow. You here to see Lolly? Me too, moocher. They say you don't know someone until you've seen where they live. I believe it after visiting Lolly's. There was more personality in there than I knew what to do with. Ugh. How dare they send me off looking so cute. I can't take it. I simply can't. But anyway, on to the building portion of this video that I, I definitely boosted in the thumbnail and it has not happened yet, not even a little bit, so I guess I'll do that for you. But my plan for today was just looking through some custom codes and I want to plan out a little tea shop area that's maybe connected to roosters, maybe an outdoor patio sort of situation. So I want to get some opinions on the tiles that I choose and some of the custom designs and just kind of what's looking best. But I'm thinking going with her core like colors would work, so like the pink, blue, and white. And then of course, any of the custom codes that I ended up saving, I will put the creator code in the description for you. But there were so many cute T ones that it was so hard to choose, so I ended up saving quite a few of them, and I might just end up using it as artwork somehow. Well, I don't know why I said somehow, because you, you just can, so I will. <laughs> And you might notice for some of these that the music is playing slower and that's because I just clicked through everything so fast that you didn't even get a chance to A. Look at the design and B. See the creator code, so I just had to slow it down a bit. But there's just so many good options. I really, really like this tile. I'm probably going to use this it, somewhere. It has to be somewhere. Maybe if I end up doing the insides of their houses, I could use that in Chai's house no matter what, if it, if it doesn't work outside. And this one was just intriguing to me. I just want to see what it's going to look like. And spoiler alert, there's a whole section in between the tiles that doesn't show up. So it looks very disconnected, so I don't know how it was intended to be used. So now I need to know that. Like, what was it made for? Anyway, questions that will keep me up at night. After my custom code shopping, though, I decided just to buy a couple simple panels that I'll have to customize, because apparently I only have the gold ones. And then I got that standing electric sign, so I can customize it a different way, and maybe make a sign for the Brewster's portion of the patio. But I'm just going to put down two sections of tiles, some of the fencing that I had customized, which is the, the lattice fencing. The blue and the pink looks pretty cute. It's off to a good start, in my opinion. And I was trying to alternate the colors of the, the table and the chair before, and it looked completely awful. I'm very glad that I changed it back to just all white. So here is the second side. We've got a different like pink and lighter pink tile. Let me know which one you think would be better for an outdoor tea shop. I do really like the like the coffee stall though. That looks so good for the Brewster side of things. But yeah, let me know in the comments which one you think looks best. If you've made it to the very end of the video, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for being here. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.